So I decided that today I was gonna smoke some really nice pork and I was gonna smoke the Buffalo Trace cigar. Now it's raining. So uh, this isn't gonna be like normal review. It's gonna be like those Oregon trip where I just record myself outside and voice over. But Buffalo Trace cigar, I'm a little excited, but I gotta say, something that's got me a little scared is right here where my fingers are. That feels hard like a fucking rock. And I'm not sure if that's a good thing. But we'll be smoking the Buffalo Trace infused cigar today on TCN. All right, let's jump straight into information here. We have an Ecuadorian wrapper, Brazilian binder, and filler consisting of Nicaraguan and Dominican tobaccos. Going over the dry puff, I was just getting a very light bourbon. Getting into that first third, very simple, smoke wood, and actually some decent bourbon. I'd had a little Buffalo Trace the week earlier, so it's still a little fresh in my head, and it definitely reminded me of that. But getting into that second third, that bourbon really becomes a lot lighter, and it's mostly just covered by that smoke and wood flavor profile. And finally, getting into that last third, that bourbon goes away and it's replaced by this earthiness. It was a little oily, but nothing too bad. Otherwise, though, same old, same old with that smoke and wood flavor profile. And ranking this guy, honestly, I wasn't really that crazy or big of a fan about it. I think if you love bourbon, I think that if you really enjoy Buffalo Trace, you will enjoy this cigar. Every, while I was sitting here smoking it the whole time, I went, I need a bourbon with this. This would make this a much better cigar. But by itself, for me, as the noob, I'm giving it a 78. I just wasn't crazy about it. It was a decent smoke. It's just, I really wished I had a bourbon, and that's not what I'm looking for in a cigar. I'm looking for a cigar that can stand out on its own. Overall, though, going over the notes, the construction and the burn were both great. And like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, the draw was concerning, but it actually wasn't bad. It was pretty decent. The first, like, third of the stick was a little tight for me, but after that, it was nice and smooth. Price range, I went to the distillery, and I bought mine for about 7 plus. They had a bunch of different sizes. Um, seeing them online, they sit around 9 and up, but really the final question is, is this cigar new friendly? And I'm going to say, maybe, because... You can be a cigar noob all you like, but you might be really into bourbon. If you're really into bourbon, grab this cigar. I would recommend it to you. But if you're not really crazy about bourbon, I would say maybe give this one a pass and go try something else. But hey, that is all I got for this time. I am in the middle of this smoke, in the middle of this rain. I don't know how I did that. That thing I'm wearing, it kept some of me dry, but not really a lot. And you know what? At least I got to smoke a cigar. So why don't you like, subscribe, go down in the comments, and let me know if you smoked the Buffalo Trace Cigar, or if you're just a big fan of the bourbon. And I will see you guys next time.